read about the state of Tennessee Down in the southern states where I want to be Where the valleys are so green and the mountains are so tall You will know just what I mean when you hear them say you want Tennessee Tennessee I hear you calling me I hear you calling me Now when I was a little boy around folks at home My mama always told me now Charlie don't you Straight away my heart is full of hope And when I think of mom and dad That's where I want to go Tennessee Tennessee I hear you calling me I hear you calling me On the day of Crockett In the hills of Tennessee I tell you there'll be no more roaming for me Cause there lives a sweetheart who said she'd marry me As soon as I get back to the state of Tennessee 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 I hear you calling me I hear you calling me The home of Davy Crockett in the hills of Tennessee. Could the light uh, guy turn the spotlight down just a little bit, please? All the good times are past and gone All the good times are over All the good times are past and gone Little darling, don't you weep no more I wish to the Lord I'd never been born Or died when I was young Than to ever have seen your sparkling blue eyes or heard your lying tongue all the good times are past and gone all the good times are over all the good times are past and gone little darling don't you weep no more Just like I'll mourn for mine All the good times are past and gone All the good times are old All the good times are past and gone Little darling, don't you weep no more Stay away. 
much. We are the RFD boys. Welcome to the uh, first leg of our four show tour of the great uh, northern part of the lower peninsula of Michigan. We hail from Little Rock, Arkansas. <coughs> Except for me and Paul and David, we're all from Ann Arbor. But this guy here used to be from Ann Arbor until about 10 years ago, was it? Yeah. You moved down there? That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, how do you like it down there? <laughs> <laughs> be nice. <laughs> well, it's hot. It can be hot. It's pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah? Yeah, there's eagles, li eagles living downtown. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot, yeah. They have a big river, a real big river. Yeah. Well, so the, you know, when... But when otherwise, I, it's, not a, it's not Michigan. When Willard left town, yeah, we were established in 1969, and uh, when Willard left town, I think we were still playing a couple of times a month at the Ark, but that got kind of impossible um, for his travel schedule and stuff, so we cut back a little bit, but we, we do get to see him every now and then when we have shows like this. So anyway, uh, we thank Willard for being up here all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas. Yes. And, um, Tell you what, boys, let's, uh, let's feature David Mosier here on one. Uh, he's, he's our singing fiddle player who actually plays all the instruments. And uh, this is one of my favorite tunes that he does, one called Gone, Gone, Gone. She'd be gone before I could count ten But I guess that I didn't believe her Just look at the trouble I'm in And she's gone, 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 gone. Crying won't bring her back The more that I cried faster than train flights Farther on down the track Every right to be happy when I lost the heaven that I found. She warned me she'd leave me and she left me before my first tear hit the ground. She's gone, 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 gone. gone. Crying won't bring her back. The more that I cried, faster this train flies. Farther on down the track She'd leave me and she left me Before my first tear hit the ground And she's gone, 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 gone Crying won't bring her back The more that I cry the faster This train flies farther on down the track Cry 
us farther on down the track. Thank you. Dick Dieter used to say the reason the RFD boys stayed together so long is we never had an exit strategy. <laughs> sleep in Detroit City and I dreamed about them cotton fields and home well I dreamed about my mother dear old papa sister and brother I dreamed about the little girl waiting for so long I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Oh, 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 how I wanna go home. Well, the home folks think I'm big in Detroit City. But from the letters that I write, they I'm fine But by day I make the cars At night I make The bars If only they Could read between The lines I wanna Go home I wanna Go home took a freight train north to Detroit City And after all these years I find I've just been wasting my time I think I'll take my foolish pride Set it on a southbound freight and let it ride Back to that little girl well, she's been waiting for so long I want to go home I want to go home Oh, oh how I want to go Do you lie in bed in Little Rock, Arkansas, singing that song every night? Every night, yeah. Well, there was a famous basketball player in high school for Pleasant uh, No, no. Wait, no. Famous. famous, yeah, I was famous. <laughs> What's, what did you, who'd you play for? Uh, Fern, Ferndale High School. Ferndale, yeah. He right was, on. Big power <clears throat> in the east there. He was a triple-double every night, weren't you? Well, I tried to get doubles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three or four of them. No, he played, he, he played against Spencer Haywood. Yeah. That's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. That's no lie. Yeah, he was a good basketball player. And then he found the banjo and he gave up sports. Yeah. He, we have him on tape. We, we were interviewed one time and they were asking Willard his history and it was, well, I got into music 
And then I went to college, and then I got bored with college, and I got back into music. <laughs> and then and I kind of stayed in music. And stayed in music. So, yeah. so here you are. Well, can you, uh, let's play, uh, you know, bluegrass music comes right out of the state of Kentucky, where there's a lot of horseback, uh, a lot of horse racing. And almost had a triple crown winner this year. Did, I wonder if Molly or Tenbrook's ever won the triple crown. Probably we either. We'll just have to listen to the song. Okay. Was a big bear horse, run on shaky mane. He run all around Memphis and beat the Memphis train. Beat the Memphis train, oh Lord, beat the Memphis train. tune and we were going to do one called Blackberry Blossom but then you surprised me with uh, a new uh, one you've just been working up one of Dick's oh, old numbers oh, yeah. the Iron Skillet Breakfast you want to try that? Sure. This is David's world premiere of uh, <laughs> one of our favorite fiddle tunes that Dick used to play he used to kick off most of the gigs with this number one called the Iron Skillet Breakfast so we'll see if we can keep up with you David Thank you. 
Thank you. That's uh, Iron Skilled Breakfast. Um, Paul whispers in my ear, you got to tell him who Dick is. Well, you know, we, we um, RFD boys were established in 1969, and Dick Dieterle was our founder. And um, Paul and I had been playing in a band. I, I was in grad school. Paul was an undergraduate. Um, we found him on the Diag with a Frisbee, pair of shorts, no shirt, can of spray paint. And he was just that far from big trouble, and we rescued him. And uh, Willard was drifting in and out of college at the time. And, uh, and basketball. basketball. Yeah, but RFD boys, we knew that one reason we formed a band was to have groupies, and we knew Willard would, would be good, a groupie magnet, so. so How's we, that working out for you? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well. Uh, and uh, we, br we brought Paul in, Dick, Dick liked his curly hair and thought that playing the bass would be good for his skinny forearms. So uh, that's, that's where that'll happen. But anyway, about uh, three years ago, two and a half years ago, we lost Dick to cancer. So he um, isn't with us anymore. And um, David Mosier, who is, uh, was a close friend of the band and of Dick's and who uh, recorded some CDs with Dick, uh, has jumped in and done a great job Yes. Filling in for all of it. So anyway, that's that's who Dick is when we talk. So about everybody knows it must be following the NBA right now because the World Cup's all over. And if you know what's, what's uh, happening with the NBA, it's all about uh, free agents. And so we were just lucky to get David <laughs> uh, free agency. I think. He, so we have. Yeah, to but it's my contract's up this year, so I'll be rene renegotiating. Oh that. yeah. So you have you're going to get a max. You want the max contract? No, I'd just right? like to get paid. That's no. all. You mean we get paid? We get paid. <laughs> Not yet. No. One of the great things about bluegrass is it's very direct, and there are a few subjects that are off limits. And uh, anyway, um, this is just a great song. Here's one called "The Banks of the Ohio." Well, I ask my love. To take a walk Just to walk For a little way As we walk We talk All about Our wedding day And lonely say You'll be mine in other's arms entwined down beside where the waters flow down by the banks of the Ohio. the bank. 
6, 12, and 1. I cried, my God, what have I done? I murdered the only woman I love because she about time you sang something but first t tell uh, these folks about that couple on the bicycle that you saw or with a couple of dogs didn't they have a couple of dogs or something but on my way up here I, I was at a rest stop and I, I stopped at a rest stop on the way up here and and was walking around to stretch my legs and there was a very attractive uh, blonde walking a couple of dogs and uh, I commented on how nice the dogs were and I asked what their names were, and she said, well, this one is Rolex, and this one is Timex. And I said, oh, name for some ex-husbands? She said, uh, no, they're watchdogs. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Hmm. Well, um, the, the RFD boys had the, the great pleasure of playing in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we did a... Uh, recording at the public TV station in Salt Lake City. And if you go on YouTube, you'll see a whole lot of clips from that. We're all dressed up in these country tuxedos and, and looking 15 years younger. And, and uh, anyway, we had a blast there. And one of the things we did was to, to uh, take advantage of being in Salt Lake City and trace our ancestries as far back as we could. And um, Dick was the first one to go, and of course he had a direct route to uh, Tübingen, Germany, which is our sister city, by the way, Ann Arbor's sister city. And we've been over there and, and visited the Dieterle Bakery over there, for example. And um, if you look in the phone book, you see lots of Dieterle's when you're in Tübingen, Germany. Um, for me, I had, I had a uh, Hershey's in my background, so I've got a sort of Swiss uh, angle there, but then Alsace-Lorraine, if you, if you go to Strasbourg, France, right on the border, and look in the phone book, you'll see lots of rare eggs, which is my name. And then Willard, um, after about five hours uh, at the computer, um, he, he traced his roots back to the Royal Oak Motel, <laughs> and as far as we could go, he's just, a, he's a Michigan boy. <laughs> Probably some basketball player for a father, but yeah. who knows? <laughs> and uh, as for Paul, it, it's so complicated, I think he's just going to have to tell you about it in a song. It goes like this. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know. I 
was 23. I was married to a widow who was pretty as could be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. For my daughter was my mother, for she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. My little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad, and so became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For if he was my uncle, then that also made him brother of the widow's grown-up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. Oh, I'm my own grandpa. Father's wife then had a son who kept them on the run. He became my grandson, for he was my daughter's son. My wife is now my mother's mother, and it makes me blue. Because although she is my wife, she's my grandmother too. If is my grandmother, then I'm her grandchild. And every time I think of it, it nearly drives me wild. For now I have become the strangest case you ever saw. As husband of my grandmother, I am my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. Oh, I'm my own grandpa. Um, Willard, uh, Willard's been pretty ambitious most of his life, and, and uh, his main goal early on was to make as much money as his brother, but do less time. <laughs> you guys. I know. Well, you know, and speaking of crime, I saw in the paper today that the uh, Leelanau Police Department was broken into, <laughs> and, and they stole all of the toilets out of the police department. That's irony. And the police have nothing to go on. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Let's you, tell you what, while I'm trying to think of another stupid joke, why don't we do one called uh, Little Maggie? We haven't yeah. done this in a while. By the way, this is so much fun to be up here and seeing you folks out here and then looking further onto the lake and the kids playing out there. Not a bad place on this earth to be.
She was sitting on the banks of the sea And a 45 strapped around her Had that five string on her knee number I'd like to send out to Karen Hurtenstein on the song she likes a lot that David sings so well, one called A Good Woman's Love.
How do you find David? Well, boys, um, you know, we, we mostly uh, do other folk songs, but we've, we've written a few in our day, and maybe I'm, I'll do a couple of songs I wrote. What do you think of yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Okay? Please. Yeah, well, so this one is the dark side of the one you just heard, and it's uh, one called uh, What's the Moral to the Story? And you'll, you'll see what it's about. Well, I don't care about you anymore No, I don't care what your future has in store I don't care who you're seeing now or who your eyes adore I realize I'm not the one you're suited for There was a time that I thought we'd last forever I was sincere when I vowed to leave you never I know you were sincere when you returned that vow to me but what's the moral to the story tell me please What's the moral to the story? What's the lesson to be learned from the building of the bridges and the bridges being burned from a love everlasting that's vanished in the breeze? What's the moral to the story? Tell me, please. one we never recorded. We, um, this next one we did record and one of our fans sent it to the Country Gentleman and they recorded it and got kind of a bluegrass hit out of it. So if you go on YouTube and search on this, which I do incessantly, you'll see a bunch of different versions of it out there. This one called Sit by the River. When I wrote this, I was thinking of my grandfather at the time and I wrote this in 1974. So what's, uh, what's 40 14 minus 74? 40 years ago, yeah. So now I am a grandpa, but um, this, was, this was back, way back then. But Charlie, after the country gentleman made a hit out of it, yeah. we didn't change our arrangement to match theirs, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't cover their cover, if that's what you mean. Because <laughs> frankly, ours was better. Uh-huh. I do say so, and Pete Goldman says sense. the same but, thing. But it wasn't a hit. <laughs> They made tens of dollars on it, I think, right? Here we go. 
goes like this. Well, I can see that you're ready to go home. There's some TV show that you're missing. But you know how an old man loves to talk And he needs someone who will listen Come and sit by the river with me for a while And I'll tell you a story that's true Of when I was a boy playing here the grass was so green and the water so blue. And of like right here, right now. Well, our house stood right over there. Of course, they took it down for the highway. I could see my mama's tears. We've been there for 20 years, and you know we would still if I had my way. In those days, you could often find me here with the rest of the neighborhood children. There was so much we could do. There was fishing, swimming too. There was always some raft that we were building. Come and sit by the river with me for a while, and I'll tell you a story that's true of when I was a boy playing here on the shore. The grass was so green. Oh, it's so blue. This river flow rolling down from the hills to the ocean. I have seen the waters high, almost fearsome rushing by. I have seen it nearly dry and without motion. And now at last you can see what it has come to. Cause we prospered with poison in the waters Now the tunes have all been played And the piper must be paid Not by us, but our sons and our daughters Come and sit by the river with me for a while And I'll tell you a story that's true of when I was a boy playing here on the shore. The grass was so green and the water so blue. Uh, um, by the way, David Mosier is not only uh, a great singer and instrumentalist, but also a great songwriter. And we haven't had a chance to work up uh, as many of his numbers as we should, but... That's because we don't practice. <laughs> well, they know that. They can tell that. 
That's quite obvious. So the first thing I uh, I asked as I walked into the place as a to a guy, shirtless guy walking that way, how's the uh, water? Is there any swimmer's itch? And uh, he said, well, just a little. And then he showed me his leg and it was covered. So I said, nah, I think I don't go, I won't go swimming today here. But uh, I like to swim a lot, as anybody who knows me will tell you. And uh, I live, fortunately, on a lake uh, down in Hamburg, Michigan, Winans Lake. No motors of any kind allowed on that lake, uh, very quiet. And the swimmer's itch has been big pike. Yeah, that's the thing. I never go swimming without some sort of cover of my lower extremities. So there's, uh, yes, they, they, they might think it's bait and take a bite. That's what I say. Um, but uh, there are, uh, when you swim in the open water, there's always a few hazards to avoid. And uh, this is kind of my swimming song about the dangers of swimming in the deep water. like six more verses. <laughs> there's a lot of bad stuff. There's a lot there. of bad stuff out there, but there's a lot of good stuff too. Um. I got a verse about swimmers itch, yes. Uh, it goes, I've been chased by swans and loons, um, horsefly, deerfly, redneck goons, cut myself on rusty docks, but swimmers itch is sure the worst. If you, if you, always, when you get out, always shower first or you look like you have the chicken pox. I haven't quite worked it up to sing it yet, but. We, um, we decided that rather than playing two sets, we're gonna play one, one lengthy set tonight. So we've got 
time for, I don't know, four or five more numbers, something like that. And David, um, David unveiled the orange, his version of the Orange Blossom special. Uh, it's in construction, under construction. We played and... Uh, Nobody got killed, right? We thought we would unleash it on you folks. <laughs> this is a, you know, so many songs are, are train songs and bluegrass, and this is one. Uh, the Orange Blossom special, and um, goes something like this.
thank you, but I'm not signing in the release for the video. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We get to edit that if, if, uh, if it were to happen. Well, we'll, we'll be like the uh, World Cup soccer games where the clock keeps running, but they sort of have semi timeouts while people people uh, you know get some water and relax, and whatever. So, boys, tell you what. Well, you guys can recover while you accompany me on uh, uh, slow number one done by Luke the Drifter, also known as Hank Williams. This is a number Hank Williams recorded under a pseudonym because he was under a recording contract that he didn't like, so he recorded this one as Luke the Drifter. It goes like this. Well, I could settle down and be doing just fine Till I hear an old freight rolling down the line Then I hurry straight home and pack And if I didn't go I believe I'd blow my stack. Well, I love you, baby, but you gotta understand when the Lord made me, He made a rambling a man. Well, some people say. some animal songs in bluegrass too. Um, Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road is one that we do. Um, Slewfoot the Bear. And this one is called Fox on the Run. Her hair shone like gold in the hot morning 
son They took all the love that a poor boy could give her And left me to die like a box on the run Everybody knows the reason for the fall A woman tempted man down in paradise's hall This woman tempted me, she took me for a ride Now like a lonely fox, I need a place to hide She walks through the corn leading down to the river her hair shone like gold in the hot morning sun She took all the love that a poor boy could give her And left me to die like a fox on the run Like a fox, like a fox, like a fox on the run He'll drink a glass of wine to fortify her soul Talk about the world and the friends he used to know I see a stream of girls, they put me on the floor The game is nearly over now, the hounds are at my door She walks through the corn leading down to the river her hair shone like gold in the hot morning sun She took all the love that a poor boy could give her And left me to die like a fox on the run Like a fox Like a fox, like a fox. There you have it. <laughs> that was some good tenor singing there, Paul. By the way, when we're in Ann Arbor, I will uh, sometimes say, even though I know it's not HIPAA compliant, how many of you out there are Paul's patients? And about half, year two? Seriously. Uh, and the rest of you just aren't admitting it. The trick is I don't cure anybody, so they never go away. That's the problem. <laughs> Numbers grow. Paul had the tables turned on him by his veterinarian patient who, uh, um, well, I know Paul's very reasonable in what he charges, but you know, other physicians sometimes aren't. Uh, but uh, anyway, nonetheless, this veterinarian had a bit of an ax to grind, and sure enough, Paul's pet iguana lay motionless long enough that Paul, Paul you know, Paul's a physiatrist, he can't tell dead from alive. He, he just tries to ease the aches and pains. And so he had to take the iguana to the vet. Well, the vet looks at the iguana, pokes it a little bit, says, well, I don't know, Paul. Let me just, let me try this. He says, he brings his Labrador retriever out, and it comes out and sniffs this iguana up and down, back and forth. And then goes and sits back next to his master and just kind of bows his head. And the, the vet says, well, you're not quite done yet. And he brings his cat out, and the cat sniffs the iguana up and down, back and forth, and then finally goes and sits next to the uh, veterinarian. The veterinarian says, yep, Paul, I'm sorry he's dead. Paul says, okay, well, thanks, Doc, and, and you know, what do I owe you? And he says, well, it's $1,200. 
losses, $1,200. You gotta be kidding. And he says, well, you know, it's 200 for my fee, and then there was the uh, lab test and the CAT scan. <laughs> Not a true story. Okay. So, um, boys, we got time for a couple of more numbers. We'd like to do uh, one that's always been a favorite uh, of RFD fans since uh, we first recorded this in 1972. And uh, actually, the Osborne brothers recorded it first. And this was written by the uh, Bryants, who wrote all of those great Everly Brothers hits, like Dream and... Uh, um, bye Bye Love, I think they wrote this one. But anyway, they, they wrote this great song called Rocky Top Tennessee. In this case, the Osbournes made a hit of it, and then we copied their number in obscurity. So you can be obscure either by being copied by somebody else or by copying somebody else. We've done it both ways. It goes like this. As soon as David and uh, Willard are through at the cocktail party he was over talking on the right-hand side of the stage. He was talking to me. I wasn't listening. <laughs> Wish that I was on old Rocky Top down in the Tennessee hills. There ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocky Top, ain't no telephone bills. Once I had Half bear, the other half cat. Well, there's a mink, but sweet as soda pop, I still dream about that. Oh, Rocky Top, you'll always be home, sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Looking for a moonshine still Strangers ain't come down from a rocky top Reckon they never will The corn won't grow at all on rocky top It's too rocky by far And that's why all the folks on rocky top Get their corn from the jar Oh, rocky top, you'll always be Folks, thank you so much for coming out tonight, this, this beautiful evening, and um, spending it with the RFD boys. 
We were once on uh, J.P. McCarthy and got introduced as the DPW boys, <laughs> Department of Public Works. And uh, Sam Bush, the great hippie mandolin player, used to call us the LSD boys. We <laughs> like that. Anyway, so, uh, and we are David Mosier from Cameron. Lake Wine and <laughs> Lake Wine and Lake. Lake. From Wine and Lake, Michigan. Willard Spencer from Pleasant Ridge, but now of Little Rock, Arkansas. And we thank him especially for driving all the way up here to be with you folks. Mike. Paul Shapiro from Peach Grove, Alabama. But, uh, uh, but he spent a lot of time in Terrytown, New York, too. And I'm Charlie Rarig. I'm from uh, Wayland, Massachusetts originally, but I came to Ann Arbor in 1967 and never escaped. So thank you so much, and we'd like to finish off with a, a great fiddle banjo number one called Turkey in the Straw.